Hello people, thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Aria and I am super excited to show you how I painted this 3D printed mask. This is Xiao's Yaksha mask from Genshin Impact. This project was meant to be a present for a friend. More about that later though. Let's get right into it. Evil conquering! So as I said, this is a 3D printed piece that I purchased from Cherry Bee Design on Etsy. They have lots of amazing 3D printed kits for cosplay. I will leave the link to the store down below. Okay, so the package came with these adorable Genshin stickers. I thought that was a cute touch. And now for the guest of honor in this video, the mask. I have never worked with 3D printed pieces before, so you can imagine how excited I was when I received this. One day, I will own my own 3D printer. First things first, I will take the mask to my sanding box and try my best to get rid of the lines texture that fresh 3D printed pieces usually have. Fun fact, here I am using my nail drill to reach some parts of the mask that the Dremel cannot reach because the Dremel is too thick. <laughs> After that, I use rubbing alcohol to clean all the mess that inevitably comes with sanding. For priming, I usually use flex bond, but since this mask is in EVA foam and doesn't need a flexible finish, I decided to go classic and use wood glue. I ended up doing three layers of wood glue. For the painting, I decided on these colors. I am using paints from the brands Golden and Amsterdam. I tried using the masking tape technique, but this mask has too many details and crevices. I knew it was going to be a nightmare, so I ended up only doing it on the horns. For the rest of the mask, I said a prayer and decided to totally trust the stability of my hand. I only needed one to two layers for everything. It was so satisfying to see the mask go from black to color so quickly. The camera couldn't pick it up very well, but if you look closely, you can see how intense this color is. Look at that coverage with only a few strokes of the brush. I followed this reference and I noticed that this part was supposed to be green and not gold, but worry not, since this paint is so intense, I was able to make the correction quickly. Now for the eyes. This is the part that had me the most nervous. <laughs> Since I wasn't adding any LEDs to this project, I wanted to try and make a glowing effect just with paints. I used water to help me dilute the paint. I wanted to achieve a watercolor effect. If you want some kind of 
light on your painting, of course you gotta use some white. The black base of the mask made the light color pop up so much. I was happy but also nervous about it. The reference I was looking at kind of had pupils, so here I decided to try and paint some pupils with white. I knew that if I didn't like it, it would be easy to just paint over them. Trying to make them both look the same was very difficult. I slowly started to regret the choice. <laughs> As you can see, here I started to just make the white center bigger and blend it with the rest of the green color. Even though the base is already black, I decided to use this very pigmented black paint to make the mask even darker. Also, this step helped me correct some mistakes I made with the other paints. Here I am watering down the black paint to create some weathering. I always love the finishing I get through this process because the piece suddenly has depth and dimension. Now I am using white to paint the cute fangs. It is so satisfying to see the black disappear. With a sponge and a bit of lighter green paint, I tried to create a gradient on the eyebrows. Once again, this is meant to give the mask more dimension. Speaking about dimension, I am giving the fangs a glow with my iridescent pearl paint. And while I am at it, I also added some to the eyes. After everything dried, I covered the entire thing with matte varnish. Now I want the eyes and fangs to have a very glossy finish, so for that I used a nail polish top coat. And I am done! I am so proud of the end result, I am hoping I can work with lots of 3D printed pieces from now on. Now let's get the mask to its rightful owner. <laughs> Enthusiasm for new things. Thank you for trusting me and opening up to me. You are so valuable and you deserve the world. Though I cannot give you that, I can help you in your journey to concrete. Oh my god, it's Shao's mask, isn't it? <laughs> If your friends don't react this way when you give them a present, please get new friends. <laughs> Did you get a I'll tell you in a bit. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
please check out the description box for links to stores, materials, and social media profiles. Please leave a like and subscribe for more fun cosplay making content. See you next time!